हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज कमल किशोर कोहली फ्रॉम सरस्वती विद्यापीठ राइजेंशियल स्कूल शिवपुरी एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय वीआईपी प्रोग्राम हेलो इंप्रूव इंग्लिश एंड आई थैंक्स यू आई वुड लाइक थैंक यू टू ज्वाइन माय वीआईपी प्रोग्राम ऑफ हेलो इंप्रूव इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वेल सो नाउ टुडे in this video i would like explain you how to learn spoken english language means uh, uh, means uh, literature or uh, writing is different from spoken and so spoken is so different from writing and uh, reading well so spoken is so very broad part of learning english language so today i will explain you how to ask questions others about their habits well now come to learn this thing habit how to ask how to ask others habits well so we will learn through this video habits habits do you know habits means we repeat Oftenly, any type of uh, task or any type of uh, work, we repeat so many times. Eh? So that is called a habit. Uh, for example, I clean my room every day. This is my habit. I can't live in a dirty room. Well, I take my food at nine a.m. this my habit without lunch or without uh, breakfast i can't live this is my habit well and i cook lunch uh, this is my habit you guys so i take tea air uh, 8 am so this is my habit i every day i take it so this is a habit means a uh, such kind of task which is uh, repeated by us this is called a habit well so now come to learn how to ask others habit or how to ask the habit of other people well for example do you learn do you learn do you learn do you learn means This is a question to ask other people. Do you learn? Well, so you can answer also. You can answer. Yes, I do. This is the short answer. No need to reply totally or a complete sentence. Well, no need to say a complete sentence. So this is the short answer. So it is compulsory. because this is accepted in spoken english language so spoken is different from written you say well you can other objects also means this is the verb you can add object also whenever you need for example do you learn english this is question do you learn english if you learn you can reply such as yes i do this is uh, this is the this and that one is the same answer you can say that so you can say yeah i do this is the answer well no need to explain or no need to say total or complete answer well so now come to the next point means uh, what is it means there is extra uh, as abstraction you can say that or there is a summary you can use do you means you can do you you can speak just like it do you speak english so do you and plus action 
and plus object. For example, you can understand. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? This is the habit of people. So, such a, for example, I speak only English language. I speak English language. This is my habit. So I can reply. Yeah, I do. No need to speak the total sentence or complete sentence. For example, yes, I read or yes, I speak English language. No need to say total sentence means a complete sentence. Well, so similarly, if you don't, for example, you never speak English, you do not speak English language, so you can reply. Do you speak English? No, no. I speak in this. So you can reply no. This is question. This is answer. Well, no. And here you can put comma. No. I do. Means I don't. No, I don't. Well, so this is the correct answer of this question. Well, so similarly, you can form different kinds of the questions uh, related to habit, to explain habit. And uh, similarly, you can answer them just like this one. Or yes or no. There are two types of uh, answering. Means uh, there, is a, there are two ways through which you can reply. Means yes, I do. Or no, I do not. Or I don't. Well, these are the two ways to reply them. Well, now come to the next question. Do you have lunch? Do you have lunch? Do you have lunch? You can reply yes. I do. Similarly, next question. Do you go to school? So you can reply. If you go to school, you can reply. Yes, I. Yeah, I do. If you don't go to school every day, you can uh, air daily here. If you don't go, you can reply here. Yeah, no. I don't. Yes, you know. Well, so you can practice it. Means uh, this is uh, so simple to learn how to learn in this language. It is very simple to learn English language. We can learn English language very easily. What is too typical to speak English language? And to bring so fluency in our English language, it is too tough. It can be created or it can be bring. Means fluency can be developed in our language, in, a, in our spoken language. Why practice? If you practice every day, you can be a powerful speaker. You, there will be a so good fluency in your speaking. So there is a need of fluency. Otherwise, so many people say speak English language, but there is a no fluency. They uh, hesitate or they hesitate to speak English language. Sometimes they stop and uh, uh, so it's a doubt typical for them. But they can refine themselves. They can purify themselves. They can enrich in the English language. Why practice? There is only a single key to learn spoken English language. If you want to bring a fluency in your English language, if you want to be a fluent speaker, there is only a single key in the world. Only and only why practice of speaking. 
विदाउट स्पीकिंग प्रैक्टिस यू कैन नॉट बी ए पावरफुल स्पीकर यू कैन नॉट बी ए फ्लुएंट स्पीकर of english language not only english but also all the languages i am talking all languages whatever language, language you are any language you can say but there is a need of practice on speaking so why speaking again and again again and again you can learn but before this one before speaking there is a need of listening and listening more and more why because listening is the foundation of learning spoken english language listening so attentively and carefully listening is the foundation of learning english language so first of all the first step is listening english language so more and more all the time you should try speak and before this one you will have to listen english language the net is speakers you should listen every day one or two hours you should listen the native speakers so that you can be a powerful speaker you can learn like them you can imitate them so that you can be powerful speaker well now go to the next point so other examples also well so you can learn do you write letter this is also question so you can reply if you don't write you can reply no 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 i don't if you write you can reply suppose you can if you write a letter regularly is your habit you can say you can write yes i do so these are the answer well now come to the next question do you like do you like bicycle hmm. you can ride here if you like you can ride here yeah i like yes i do well similarly you can write so many questions and you can reply on self you can talk to yourself some sometimes uh, students come plan me sir how can we talk how can improve our spoken english language because there is nobody uh, for whom we can speak english language nobody or there is there are no friends uh, who can speak english language with us so no need to other people well so we can talk to one self always you can go to roof of the building or house uh, you can talk to yourself the friend can solve the question you can form you can ask you yourself any question and you can reply one self well so this is the nice and best way through which you can improve your english language well so this is a one type of the questions and answer i have taught you and i hope that you will have understood the fact of this question and answer this is the short answer these are short answer because the spoken language is based on short sentences short answers so it's a nice for you so i made uh, i recorded this video for you so that your improved english language can be so done very well you can speak very well after watching this video i hope that thing. thank you